Welcome everyone, this is Like It's 1985 with my review of the Generation 1 Transformers Decepticon clones. On the left is Wingspan and on the right is Pounce. Now as you can see from the front they are virtually identical um, which is part of the clone concept of this line. Uh, so only when you turn them around and look at the back side uh, do you see the difference. And they really, they really did a good job at, uh, you know, having these uh, bits and parts fit uh, behind the body, so that really, at you know, looking the, looking at them straight on, you really can't see a whole lot of the the back part of the robot mode. So that's really nice and really plays well into the concept of the uh, the clone aspect of the figures. So let's take a look at uh, the transformation for Wingspan first. So Wingspan is actually uh, gets transformed into a like an eagle alt mode. Uh, first thing you can do is fold in the fists into the arms. And then the arms get rotated back into their original position. Uh, for the head, you want to take the head and pull it forward like that. And then you want to push up on the bottom here so that this piece raises up a little bit like that. Pull out the eagle head and the robot head gets stored into the chest there. Moving to the back here, you can see how they nicely engineered the uh, wings so that they fold up really nicely and that they follow the contours of the body of the robot. So let's go ahead and bring out the wings. Like that. And the last step is to uh, pull these pieces down here which are the uh, eagle's legs and this section rotates a little bit it's kind of like the uh, the tail end of the bird or the tail feather and uh, once you got uh, wingspan transformed he's supposed to be able to stand something like like this now he does come with weapons that he uses both in his alt modes and in his robot mode uh, he's got these two nicely detailed weapons here and by the way this uh, may appear as black but what it actually is is a dark purple which is appropriate for a Decepticon clone so these peg into these uh, holes here on his wings again really nice that you can utilize the weapons in the alt mode uh, as well as the robot mode so there is wingspan so let's go ahead Let's go have a look at uh, the transformation for Pounce. For Pounce, again, you want to start with the hands, fold them into the arms. And then the arms themselves get rotated down like that. Uh, as far as the head, the robot head, they pull it back, this piece here. Uh, bring out the uh, Puma head, push in the robot head and then there you go uh, bring down this piece here which becomes the foreleg for the puma mode uh, what you want to do is bring out the feet like this and like that and don't forget to bring out the little purple tail so there is Pounce in his Puma mode, and he does come with a, a set of very nice weapons as well, as you can see here. Uh, really nice detail in the weapons again, same color. This has a, a bladed look to it, so it's kind of like a bayonet with a blaster. Really cool. And these get mounted on his uh, shoulders. And once he gets them mounted there, he looks pretty wicked looking. So, uh, Pounce and Wingspan in their, I guess you call them their alt modes or their beast modes. Really cool. Now, uh, some people have commented on the fact that the heads on both of these alt modes are rather small as compared to their bodies. Uh, and in the case of uh, Pounce, his legs are, you know, could be it could be argued that the legs are a little spindly looking, a little too thin. 
But really, you know, this is Generation 1 Transformers, so I, I'm willing to forgive a lot. I would give this set a, uh, I would say a, a 9.5 out of 10. Maybe just dock it a little bit of points for the, the kind of small heads on both of the, uh, the beast modes or the alt modes. But really, uh, the fact that in robot mode they have the, that clone effect and the fact that, they're, that the colors are really nice as well. Uh, you've got a dark pink, a white, uh, kind of an aqua color. And like I said before, this color here that may appear as black is actually a dark purple, which again is appropriate for a uh, Decepticon clone. Uh, so really nice. Uh, I really recommend you pick these up uh, if you're into Generation 1. Uh, if you like the clone concept, really cool. And I really would like, I hope anyways, uh, that Hasbro would introduce uh, a similar uh, line. This was only like, uh, they only had two of these, two Decepticon clones and, well, and two Autobot clones. But I would really like to see that uh, concept reintroduced uh, in, a, in a modern, with modern technology that we have. Um, it would be really cool to see what they could do with that. So anyhow, this has been my review of Transformers um, uh, Decepticon clones, uh, Wingspan, and pounce. Thanks for watching.